Oh yeah, baby, it's time once again for another episode of This Old Outboard. Odds and ends today, but what I really want to do is have fun with spark plugs. So yesterday, I pulled these plugs out. I had gapped them at 30. And I'm thinking, you know what, a change plug, change brand. Let me check the gap on those. Looked the gap up, was 28. Pulled the plugs back out, regapped them to 28. Let's take it for a run, see what happens. So it wouldn't even hardly start. Then I took it out for a run and it just did not seem the same. So I'm thinking, all right, well, you know, what is it to all this spark plug stuff? You know, heat temperature, heat range, gapping, you know, people, you know, over gap, under gap, you know, depending on the situation, heat range, blah, 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 blah. So I started doing a little bit of homework last night. And um, I, for one, was one of those people that thought, you know, a higher or a hotter spark plug meant hotter flame. That's not the case. Uh, the case is the, the hotter the plug, it's the temperature range of the plug, how long it takes to cool down and it, you know how much it's going to burn off, residue. It gets a little bit complicated. I don't have it completely memorized yet. Like I said, I just started doing my homework on this stuff. So anyway, I haven't pulled those other plugs out yet went down and bought two more sets of plugs. I'm going to do a little experimenting. I'm going to gap one set 32. See what happens. I'll put those back at 30. See what happens. And on the third set, I'm going to do a little, little thing they call half gapping. Something like that. Where you take, instead of having the electrode come all the way over, that's the electrode or is that the electrode <laughs> I'm still learning instead of having this the, the piece you know it comes all the way over the electrode I think that's how it works you file that down so it just meets it halfway and I'm gonna do a set like that and I'm gonna see which one of these things this motor responds to the best now this Ultimate. is the, the match for the uh, champion plug and I've always been a champion guy and I've always been the guy to go by the book whatever the book says use that plug but here we are 40 some years later this is 1975 motor uh, 40 some years later there's been a lot of experience over the years with these older motors and I have read you know use the NGK plugs on these older motors blah 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 you know so it's a 50 50 thing some people say ngk sucks some people say champion suck um it's all in in your experience i guess when you first start with those plugs that i regapped to 28 instead of a 30. let's see what happens see if it's still hard to start all right here we go I hate this key switch. But I do know that on that run, it didn't seem the same to me. It was a, it was a slight difference. So, the next set, I'm going to go 32. See what happens. Put them in and do the indexing, take it for a run, and then see if there's a difference. Well, she's sounding good, baby, she's sounding good. So let me get the next set of plugs gap. Like I said, I'm gonna do 32. Let's see what happens, take it for a run. See if my 
you know, see if I, I get a couple a little bit more horsepower or whatever. I think you can see that's the plugs that are gapped at 28. And a little, you know, a little. They, they look good. They, they look, you know, close to each other. But still, but uh, they are a little blackish, a little greasy, greasy -ish, ish ish ish. So I'm thinking, like I said, with that gap at 28, not really hitting the hot spot with a bigger, bigger spark. Now, you can get too big too, and and just kill this whole thing. Same with too small. So it's fun with spark plugs so I'm gonna leave these at 28 and uh, sit them down over here get me a new set we already know how this thing was running when they were gapped at 30 it was pretty good so I'm gonna gap a new set at 32 and see what happens alright so these are gapped at 32 then my index mark is gonna be ooh, right ooh. I'm off a little bit right there fat mark on that one right there fat mark on that one this sharpie is a fat sharpie so let's see so what startup wise see where we're at on this with the 32 gap and then go for a ride also yesterday on that ride after I gapped those plugs down, I mean, I was running 22, not a solid 23 like I did before I gapped them down. So that was the other thing. out I made those plugs out and see what the hell they look like but yeah I'm digging on the 24 ow 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 baby they're hot and yeah, let me get a rag here you're gonna like this boy you're gonna like this <laughs> oh I need my glasses look at those babies come on now now that looked pretty damn pretty to me. Could be a little little toastier brown. But <laughs> that looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to take this next set. And I'm going to do the file thing. And file the, the, this puppy off so it's just half, half gap. I think that's what they called it just so it's half and and put it at 30 32 I don't know and see what happens if I can see <laughs> this is just a blur right now now that's not too bad way over there <laughs> all right let me go <laughs> I bent it up so I could get in there and file it off and I'll set and, it back uh, down and I think we'll stick around 30 32 and take it for a buzz and see what happens. Wouldn't it be incredible if it was getting 25 miles an hour? All right, let me buzz this baby down. I think you can see that. Okay, buzzed it off and, you know, took off the edges and stuff. And let me bend it back down. Let me gap it. Do the next one. This is just a quick comparison of the one that I just did and one I haven't done. Oops. This one I just cut. That might be better against the background. See how much I took off. So I'm halfway over the electrode where this one fully covers the electrode. And I did, I'm going to go stupid because it's fun with spark plugs. Um, 
I, I'm okay. I got it gaffed at 34. See what happens, right? What, what I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It's not going to run right, right? Bing, bang, boom. All right. All right let's yeah. see how she starts. Wow. Wow. That's the quickest start yet. Like that. All right, let's get out of here and see what happens with these plugs. Sounds good. Only hitting 22. I'm only hitting 22. Uh, they're gapped at 34. Half gapped plugs. I'm going to take them out, recap them. Let's go with 30. See what happens. But, I mean, I'm solid 22, so I lost couple miles per hour. I'm thinking too big a gap. Cut them down to 30. Give it a shot. See, I can hear it right there. Sounded, sounds weak. All right, they're hot. But still, once again, boy, they look nice. Nice and clean, pretty. I don't know which one came out of which, but I'm going to change the gap from 34 to 30, and we'll give them a shot. It's fun with spark plug day, baby. All right, so back in, gapped at 30. All right, I'm going back. I'm not even going to deal with it again. We're only hitting 20, 21. Uh, half gap deal is not working on this motor. Putting the other ones back in. Gapped at 32. Indexed. Hitting 24. And that's it. Leave it alone. And I will be ordering up freaking champion plugs. That'll be next time on Fun with Spark <laughs> Just got, you know, got to see what's going to happen with the champion. So, that was Fun with Spark Plugs. I hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode of the video. So, that was Fun with Spark Plugs. I hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fun with Spark Plugs. Stick around for the next episode. Fun with whatever. You know the gym.